Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel and thank you for checking out this video. For our tutorial today, we are going to show you how to model a ramp in Revit with a wall that follows the profile and gradient of the ramp. This can be useful when creating multi-level parking floors. But before we start, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell and leave a comment down below. Thank you. On our plan view, it is good that we have an idea of the extent of the ramp. Let's draw it first using detail line just to show how it would look on plan. Then on elevation, we should at least check the level difference. This is 4 meters. On the architecture tab, click the ramp icon. Then on the properties, check the base level, base offset, top level and top offset. The current setting is fine right now. Then for the width, we are going to set it to 6000 millimeters. Then we draw our ramp. Okay, currently the ramp looks short on plan. Let's go to the elevation. And it stops short our intended length of the ramp. Let's go back to the plan. Let's delete this. And this guide, I think we don't need them anymore. Click the ramp icon again. Then click edit type. Look for the maximum incline length. Currently it is set to 12,000 millimeters only. We are going to make it longer. Let's set it to 120,000 millimeters. Then, let's draw the ramp again. Okay, that's better. Let's check the elevation. We can see that it starts from level 1 and ends at level 2. Let's go to the 3D view. Next thing we do is create the wall on the sides of the ramp. To do that, we are going to use massing. Go to massing and sight. Click in place mass. Then just click OK. Then use spline through points. Then just follow the edge of the ramp to create the spline. Just have to add as many points as we want. The more points we add will be more accurate to the profile of the ramp. Once we reach the end of the ramp, just click escape on your keyboard.
Then click front of the 3D cube. Then click copy, and we are going to copy the spline vertically. Let's set it to 3000 millimeters. Next we select the two splines, then click create form. Now we have a massing surface. Click finish. Let's delete the railing. We are going to repeat the process on the other side of the ramp. Go to massing and site, and click in place mass. Then click spline through points. Then follow the edge profile of the ramp. Copy the spline again. Set to 3000 millimeters. Select both spline and click create form. Then finish edit mode. Next, go to Architecture tab, click the drop-down button of the wall, then select Wall by Face. Select the type of wall to use from the properties. Let's stick with the 200mm wall, then click on the surface mass. Also the other surface. The wall is outside the ramp, so we are going to change the location line from the properties. Change to Finish Face Interior. Do the same with the other wall. Let's turn off the levels on 3D view. We turn off the mass by selecting the show mass form and floors icon. Now we have the ramp and the wall. Let's draw the floor just to show how it works on a multi-story level.
Let's copy the ramp and the walls. Then go to level 2 and paste, aligned to the current view. Let's copy the floor also. Let's copy one more floor. Okay, this is our basic ramp for a parking building. The challenge is to have the wall follow the ramp profile and gradient. And using the surface mass does the trick. Alright, that's it for now. You can try it on the ramps of the projects you are working on. We hope that you have learned new things in Revit from this tutorial. Please comment down below if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions of a tutorial that we should do. See you again in our next video. Thank you for watching.